welcome back to my channel. So glad that you're here. So it's really late right now. Like it's after 10. Maybe that's not really late to the rest of the world, but to us moms, I feel like it's late. So my living room is a disaster. <laughs> a disaster. It's got to be cleaned up. It's driving me crazy. One of my kids tripped today and got hurt because they walked over a toy because it's just a mess in here. So, tonight I've decided that even though it's late and even though I am tired, I'm going to set a 30 minute timer and I'm going to clean for 30 minutes. I want to get the floor picked up. I want to get the pillows and blankets arranged how they need to be. I'd love to vacuum over the floor if I can without waking everybody up. I really want to clean off like the shelves and the tables so they'll be ready for redecorating. I've got some new summer pieces that I want to bring out. I'm planning on doing all of that. Like I said, I'm only giving myself 30 minutes because I'm tired. Tomorrow's going to be a big day and I'm ready to go to bed. I'm going to get it done tonight. But first, I'm going to eat some fruit snacks because I just had a cookie and now I'm gonna have some fruit snacks. I'm gonna look around and see all the toys and trash and random things in my floor while I'm eating my fruit snacks. There's a lot to do. I'm beginning to wonder if 30 minutes will be enough time. <laughs> Probably not, but that's what we're doing tonight. So before the kids went to bed, I had them pick up all their toys and put them in this laundry basket just as part of their chores and their responsibility to make sure their toys get put away. And of course, all of them didn't get put away and that's all right, but I just made sure to take that basket into their room and then I'm just trying to straighten up the rest of the toys that have been left out. searching the ground don't think I'm crazy because Barbie toys are like itty bitty tiny like for instance this this is a whisk for Barbie okay I mean I don't know if you know this matches my rug color see that I can totally suck that up with a vacuum and not even realize it so I have to feel around make sure I'm not about to vacuum anything up that's going to really devastate anyone. I often joke and say that people always say Legos are terrible to step on, but if you've never stepped on a Barbie high heel, then you do not know pain. Those things are awful to step on. Blaine has recently gotten into Legos and those are pretty terrible to step on too. And there's just so many pieces that go with them. But the Barbie pieces are just everywhere. Barbie has so many accessories and outfits and all kinds of things. And I feel like we have almost every single Barbie out there. So we have pieces of Barbie toys everywhere. I try really hard in the girls room to organize those Barbie pieces. But of course, when they bring them to the living room just to play, the pieces get under the furniture and in the rug and just everywhere you can think of. They recently just had their fifth birthday and it was Barbie themed and so they got so many Barbie accessories and vehicles and play sets that I'm still trying to organize all of them. In our house, our throw pillows and blankets get thrown all over the place and used pretty regularly, so that's something I have to clean up almost daily. Another thing that Blaine is really into right now is puzzles. So on that side table there with the two drawers, that is slap full of puzzles. And my kids are constantly pulling them out and working on those puzzles in the living room, which I love. And I think it's such a cute little activity for them to do. But whenever we get Blaine a new puzzle, he thinks it's the best thing ever. We work on them together as a family. So that's an activity that I really enjoy.
This is me moving my ottoman just to see what's underneath it. And I knew, I knew, I knew that I would find more Barbie pieces and more Legos. I'm gonna run my vacuum over the rug just to vacuum up any extra dirt or dust. It is late and a lot of times I choose not to run my vacuum cleaner late at night. There was another Barbie piece in case you missed it. I think it was like a Barbie knife that blends in really well with the carpet. But I usually choose not to run my vacuum cleaner very late because I don't wanna wake anybody up. But this vacuum is not terribly loud, just on the normal setting. So I went ahead and vacuumed so that'd be one less thing that I needed to do tomorrow. So one of the chores that I've been giving to my kids more recently is folding towels. I remember when I was young, my mom would always let me fold the towels to help her. So that's one of the chores that I've been asking my kids to help me with. And of course they're so sweet and they wanna help. So if you see my towels looking a little wild, it's because my kids are learning how to fold them and I'm not gonna refold them because I want to show them that I appreciate their hard work. So we're gonna get all of these towels up and put them right where they go. If you've got any good chore ideas for a three-year-old who's almost four and two five-year-olds, then leave that in the comments below because I'd love some suggestions on chores that little ones can do. So here I'm just cleaning off my shelves, getting them empty so that when I'm ready to decorate for summer, I won't have anything else to do. I'm even going to go ahead and wipe them down and dust them off. All right, guys. So my 30 minute timer is officially up. I pretty much accomplished everything that I wanted to. Of course, I would have loved to have mopped my floor or to get some spots off my couches um but I just didn't have time for that tonight and like I said I'm exhausted I'm ready to go to bed I got a lot done as you can see I got my shelf completely cleaned off so it's ready to be redecorated very excited about that pretty much got everything put away that was in the floor the towels all put away that were on the couch picked up odds and ends cups um, gummy wrappers I was able to vacuum the floor I feel pretty happy with what I got done and I'm going to give you a quick look of everything that I did and then I'm going to bed. Okay, so here's a quick look at what all I got done. I know you see those beautiful vacuum lines right there. Oh, that's lovely. I rarely ever have those in my home though, but they are nice to see occasionally. Got the fireplace completely cleaned off. We got the chairs cleaned off and got everything back in its spot. The couch is cleaned off and more towels. And like I said, the shelf got cleaned off. So I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I feel like everything looks nice and now I can go to bed. Guys, I really appreciate it that you take the time to watch this video and to just see what's going on in my life. I'd really, really love it if you subscribe to my channel and like this video. These videos are powered by you, so every like and every subscribe pushes it out to someone else. I'm able to continue to make videos because you guys keep liking them and subscribing, and it is so appreciated. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.